Authorities are now releasing more details about Christopher Dorner's final hours. We were caught in the crossfire, a gun battle that lasted nearly an hour, then silence. SWAT team leader Greg Herbert. Uh, there was no response from the suspect, none, no movement. And we felt that uh, based upon his behavior that uh, he was laying in wait for us. With daylight fading, Herbert's team deployed a powerful form of tear gas known as a burner. The cabin caught fire and as the flames grew larger. We heard a distinct single gunshot come from inside the house. The information that we have right now seems to indicate that the wound that uh, took Christopher Dorner's life was self-inflicted. Captain Kevin Lacey made it official. Dorner killed himself. Less clear is whether the fire was deliberately set. You indicated on Wednesday that you did not intentionally burn that cabin down to get Mr. Dorner out. Audio we recorded there suggests differently. I stand by that remark. Burn that right now. We did not intentionally burn that cabin down. I would suggest to you that those comments were made by somebody away from the tactical team. Sheriff John McMahon is also facing questions about the early days of the massive manhunt. On February 8th, he briefed the news media. Uh, we have searched the entire area that's within this, this close proximity. It turned out Dorner was inside a condo less than 100 feet away the whole time, overlooking the sheriff's command post. I don't believe that we made any mistakes at this point. The search itself our deputy sheriffs performed flawlessly. Before his rampage ended, Dorner killed four people, including a San Bernardino County Sheriff's deputy on the final day. Carter Evans, CBS News, Los Angeles.